Kenny, wake up. What is it? Did you hear a noise? No, no noise. No noise? No. But you went Kenny and nudged me? Yes, I did. Don't ever say Kenny and nudge me unless there is a noise. <laughs> Kenny, we agreed to get up in the middle of the night to make love. Oh. Because we haven't in such a long time. A very long time. Well, then, come here, you little bundle of excitement. Because when it, it came time to name things, they got to poo-poo, and words like asparagus and tulip were already taken. I gotta go. Uh, we have to talk. How about last night? How about the last few weeks? Bart, why don't you uh, go see what Mr. Rogers is happy about today, will you? <laughs> Ken. I'm worried about us. Georgia, don't let the fact that we never have sex bother you. <laughs> oh, that's cute. You know I'm kidding. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe sex never even crosses your mind. Sex doesn't cross my mind. Are you kidding? Here. Look at this restaurant I've been designing. I, I put a train right in the middle of it. <laughs> and you say I don't think about sex? Come on. Then it's me. The problem is, you don't want me anymore. And I know why. It's because I'm no longer a woman. I'm a mother. Georgia, please. That's it. I know it. I am not a sexual person to you anymore because I have given birth. And I've had the nerve to do it twice. <laughs> you don't want to sleep with a mommy. Oh, there is something very psychological going on around here. Georgia, I, you're being no, crazy No, I have here. gone from nookie to mommy. <laughs> you're still nookie. You're still nookie to me. Honest. Honest. Oh. Look, our problem is that we just don't get enough time together anymore. I mean, between work... And the kids. We're either too busy... Or, or too tired. ...to make love. You're right. Boy, I'm glad it's not me. I always knew it wasn't me. <laughs> we'll work this thing out. You'll see. We'll find the time. Okay. Now, I, I really gotta go. Mm. Bye, honey. Right. right. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you forgot your train. <laughs> Oh, 
Bye, handsome. Have fun at school. Daddy, how come Mr. Rogers keeps changing his shoes? Ask Mommy. She knows. <laughs> hi. Well, hi. Taylor? It's always a pleasure, Mrs. Holden. <laughs> Taylor needs a magnet for kindergarten today. Does Bart have one he could use? Oh, sure. Uh, Bart, can Taylor borrow your magnet? Uh-huh. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Bart. You know, the kids at Bart's school played show-and-tell with magnets last week. Uh -huh. <laughs> They're not playing show-and-tell at Taylor's school. They're building an electric generator. <laughs> Mom, I'll get it for you. I need to use your bathroom. I have to move my bowels. <laughs> um, it's a lot like making poo-poo. <laughs> so how are you? Oh, fine, fine. Everything's great, no problems. Ken and I are just fine. Well, good. That's, that's good. <sighs> Lila, did you happen to see that uh, article about sexual frequency in married couples? I did see that article. You did? Mm-hmm. And Marty and I are right where we're supposed to be, 2.3 times per week. <laughs> How do you do it, 0.3? Well, you sort of get all undressed and then forget it. <laughs> But uh, you and Marty, you're uh, good for the other two times? Absolutely. Well, we like to stay around that figure, so sometimes we have sex even if we don't want to. <laughs> how about you guys? What do you mean? Well, how often do you and Ken? Well, gee, Lila, that's kind of personal. <laughs> Vaughn? Hi. What's with the train? <laughs> it's nothing. So, uh, how did your date with our new receptionist go? I take her out to dinner, $72. She had to have the moose. And then I take her to the concert at the Royal, $44. She says she can't see well, so I upgrade the seats, another 16 bucks. Toward the end of the show, she says to me, you know, just because you're spending all this money on me, I hope you don't expect me to pay you back in some other way. <laughs> well, I told her not to worry. There's nothing she can do to my body that's worth the $132. <laughs> you know, that's the one thing I envy about you married guys. What's that? Sex, pal. I mean, you don't have to go through all this stuff. It's yours any time you want. Yeah, you bet. All you want, whenever you want. All day long, sure. Sex, sex, sex. <laughs> we meet at the toaster, we have sex. We're shampooing the rug, we stop, we have sex. I'm paying the bills, she walks by, we have sex. I've done that one. Yeah, the kids start yelling for their supper, we say, hey, shut up, we're gonna have sex, go out and eat. <laughs> Vaughn, where did you get this idea that married people live this sexual marathon? It's not true. No. Well, then there's nothing I envy about you married guys. <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh, hi, Georgia. Bart is still at school, and I just put Lenny down for her nap. So you're all alone? Uh-huh. With nothing to do? Ooh, I'm so lonely. Gee, I hate to think of you that way. I'll tell you what. I think maybe I can stop giving this guy CPR for a couple of minutes and mosey on home. See you soon, partner. It's open. Would you mind filling uh, <clears throat> out your film name? Of course. Oh my god! Oh my god! 
Oh, my God. <laughs> Partner. Hi. Hi. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Gee, look at this. It's about six delivery trucks all parked together. I wonder what's up. It's me. <laughs> Now, thanks a lot, Bart. You were a great helper today. Thank you. Uh, why don't you go change your clothes so you'll be ready when Grandpa comes? Okay, but first I gotta move my vowels. <laughs> sure. Any word from Grandpa? He just called. He'll be here any minute. He'll come. He'll take Bart. They'll go to the zoo. This little dumpling will take her nap, and then you and I will give new meaning to the words, please stop, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> oh, Ken. Oh, Ken. Then he's falling asleep. Perfect. No, no, it's too early for her to fall asleep. If she takes her nap now, she might wake up at the wrong time. Somewhere between please stop. And I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Kenny, take her to her room. Right. Keep her awake, just do anything. Okay. Uh, Lenny, Lenny. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daddy. Hi. Hi. Listen, before I forget, do you want to come over for dinner next Thursday? Oh, honey, you don't have to keep asking me over to eat. I can fend for myself. I know, I know <laughs> that. In fact, next week, several of the guys from the VFW are getting together and we're making a big lobster dinner. We eat, talk, and whistle at the girls. Whistling at the girls? Daddy. Hey, some of the guys can't help it. They whistle whether they want to or not. <laughs> <laughs> and then Goldilocks tasted the porridge and said, this is too hot! Have you spoken to mom, Dad? I don't think of her as mom anymore. To me, she's the lump that used to weigh down the other side of the bed. Gee, Dad, it, it's so good to see all the bitterness is gone. In answer to your question, no, I have not spoken to her. But if you do, tell her that I know someday she's going to want to come back to me. And that I'd be willing to talk about it. Oops. Clumsy daddy. Clumsy daddy. They'll be leaving in a minute. Mom! Mom! Bart! What's the matter? He took one drink of juice and his throat started hurting. My throat hurt. His throat hurts. Maybe the juice is too cold. Or, or maybe it was the pulp. Yeah, we got bad pulp. <laughs> Honey, open your mouth. Let Mommy see in. Come on, normal. Come on, normal. Ben, this doesn't look normal. It looks kind of red. Can I still go to the zoo? <sighs> Honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, Bart. <laughs> You're real sorry. <laughs> Sad, Daddy. I can go to the zoo another time. <laughs> he He's as good as new. What time is Cat coming to babysit? I told her two o'clock. Nice work. Did you take care of your assignment? There's a motel room waiting for us. Nice work. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. Me too. I got a room with a kitchenette. I feel so kinky going to a motel room. Ooh, I love that side of you. When we get there, we can play nice girl in the meter reader. <laughs> Why are you putting on makeup? So I look pretty. Why do you want to look pretty? For daddy. I want to look pretty for your daddy. But you already got daddy. You don't have to look pretty. Well, when 
you've already got somebody is when you should try the hardest to make them happy. Oh. Where are you going? To clean up my room. Hi, Cac. Hi, Mr. Holden. Ah, how you doing? I'm a little tubed. <laughs> oh, well, just try to eat more salads. <laughs> no, no, I got guy problems. Oh, well, what's up? This new guy moved into town, right? Mm. And of course, he sits right behind me in homeroom. This guy is a side of beef. <laughs> the problem is he talks to every other girl but me. That's the way us guys work. You see, at first, we act like we're not interested in the one girl that we're really after. Then we make our move. He's just waiting for the right time. He really likes you, Cac. What if he never talks to me? Then I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but he would be a fool not to talk to you. Thanks. Hi, Cac. Hi, Mrs. H. I'm ready. You look great. <laughs> Where are you guys going? To a movie, to, uh, to uh, um, a movie about people who eat. It's um, my dinner with Andre. Isn't that right, honey? Yes. Yeah. What's the phone number? Uh, there's no number. It's a uh, drive-in. Uh, Ken, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. We have to leave a number. What if something happens? Yeah. Okay. This is the number of where we're really going to be. No drive-in. No drive-in. Although there are similarities. <laughs> Heck, Mrs. Holden and I feel that you're old enough for us to be honest with you. Uh-huh. We're going to be at a motel for a couple of hours because we really need some time together. Sounds great, Mr. H. <laughs> oh, boy, I tell you, I, I, I feel so much better. You know, so much cleaner for just having told you the truth. Come on. Oh, um, incidentally, our reservations are under the name Castellano, in case you need to reach us. <laughs> Good afternoon. Thank you. Yes, we have reservations. We're the Castellanos. Oh, yes, Nick and Lucinda. <laughs> it's us. If you'll just fill that out, please. Of course. Oh, Canadians. <laughs> She only speaks French. What does that say under occupation? It says lumberjack. I'm a lumberjack. Mon dieu. Just down here looking for work. Oh, there we are. And how will you be paying for your stay with us? Credit card? Cash. Small bills. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Here's your key, Mr. Castellano. You'll be in room 17. Thank you. By the way, there's complimentary coffee in the morning. Oh, that's all right. We're only going to be staying an hour. <laughs> I just heard of a job opening in Oregon. Are we near there? It's about 4,000 miles. Oh, well, then we'd we better get some rest. <laughs> Mon Dieu, huh? I didn't know what else to say. I took Spanish. <laughs> oh, and, and, and what about you, Mr. Lumberjack? What? Um, is Oregon far from here? Oh, is it? <laughs> uh, well, here we are. Here we are. A motel room. It sure is. Yeah, we got lamps. A TV. A uh, closet. Ooh, plastic glasses wrapped in plastic. A bathroom with a piece of paper across the toilet. Boy, why do I love seeing that? You know, there could be an otter swimming around in the bowl, but if I see that piece of paper, I feel it's all right to go. Ooh, we've got postcards. Oh, and a tasteful picture of a tiger finishing its kill. And, of course, there's a bed. You're right, that's a bed. <laughs> Shall we?
Georgia? Yes, Kenny? Uh, I don't really feel like doing what it is we came here to do. You don't? Uh-uh. I mean, I just feel like we're under this incredible pressure to have this wild and lusty moment. And I don't know why, but I don't feel particularly wild or lusty. And you're sort of feeling guilty because we did so much to arrange this time, and yet it doesn't seem like the right time? Is that what you're feeling? Yeah. Me too. You too? Oh, Kenny, I'm getting sad. I mean, it's been so long since we've... And now we aren't, even though we could. Will we ever? Did we ever? <laughs> Twice that I know of. You know what? When you think about it, we may have fallen behind in our lovemaking, but... We're doing just fine when it comes to intimacy. I mean, I don't know any two people who hug and kiss as much as we do. Oh, we, we pass in the hall, we kiss. I'm always hugging you when you're trying to make pancakes. Yeah, and, and, and I always kiss the back of your neck when I trim your hair. I don't think we've ever walked past each other without touching something on the other person. <laughs> you know what? Someday, when Bart and Linny go off to college, you and I will make up for all the lovemaking we've missed. You betcha. But in the meantime, I'm real happy with the way things are. Me too. feel like doing what we came here to do. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Come here, you little bundle of excitement. <laughs> 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 <laughs>